rest of my time. Thank you. All right, thanks. Uh, uh, Senator Ernst, uh, you're recognized. Yes, thank you, Chairman Carper and Do you have a bigger, a bigger sign than that? Do you have a bigger um, sign? Do we need bigger? <laughs> That's pretty we... big. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you so much for holding this hearing today and, and for those that are here as, as witnesses. Um, these are issues that are really important to our state of Iowa. And Mr. Vanderwall, I'd like to start with you, please. And, and just like you, I grew up on my family farm in southwestern Iowa. And I know how much pride that our family took in raising livestock and in crops. Our hardworking farmers and ranchers really shouldn't have to worry about overly onerous regulations coming from the federal government and, of course, the increased production costs that go along with that. So could you please speak to the impacts that previously proposed livestock emissions regulations would have had on your family's farm? Well, thank you, Senator, for that question. And, and I think that's one of the most important um, points that we need to make, is that every time Congress puts a regulation or, or an agency puts a regulation on agriculture, it makes it more difficult for small families, uh, farms and ranchers to survive. And in our operation, uh, we, can, we only feed about 1,000 head of cattle, farm 2,000 acres. Mm -hmm. That's not big anymore. And when regulations come out that take more, more employees, more time away from managing the operation, that detracts from the success of the operation. So certainly those, those previous regulations would have been very difficult to manage. And, and like I said, a lot of smaller operations would probably just hang it up and quit. Yeah, and then, uh, of course, we talk a lot about the cow tax, um, but how would those burdensome regulations like the cow tax increase costs on both livestock producers and our consumers? More of the same, right? Exactly, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think this is something that uh, is very important, obviously, to folks in Iowa and South Dakota, uh, all across the Midwest, where we do have large livestock operations on sweeping through the South. Um, but it is difficult for our small family farmers uh, to really uh, take on the, the burden of federal government regulations, again, that are overly onerous, and it, it does cause increased costs to our consumers. Um, so, of course, I'm, I'm advocating um, not to pass a cow tax, uh, of course. But I thank you for being here today. And then I do want to